exciting day today. Big things are happening in the kitchen and I'm not talking about cooking for once. This is the living room as it stands. A little messy right now. I need to kind of clean it up a little bit. And the kitchen, as I'm sure you've seen in many, many videos, which I also need to tidy up a little bit, but some big changes are happening. We're gonna be changing the cabinets and painting them pink today. Well, over the next couple of days, this is the before. And if you guys remember the before before, which was actually a dark gray color. So this will be the third color the cabinets will be. So we're saying goodbye to the neutral kitchen cabinets. I don't think I'm gonna be filming any recipes today. So this is the update. We are all tented up. The kitchen is sealed away right now. Sesame's exploring and very confused. He's been hiding all day. Um, and basically there's just been a layer of primer coat applied today. So we'll need a part two tomorrow. Hoping that wraps up quickly because I do have stuff to film. And as you can see, the kitchen is like a mess. So there's no way I can film anything on any of these tables because all the stuff from inside the cabinets is basically all out here right now. But we are halfway there. Tomorrow is going to be the pink day. So I'm really excited to see what the color looks like in real life. And hopefully we made the right choice. Wait, it's day two painting and I'm not going to lie. I'm a little nervous because it just feels so bright. It's a huge adjustment coming from like that neutral off-white color. So I think it just needs time to like sink in and adjust. Obviously everything kind of showing is making it hard for me to imagine and visualize. But I don't know why I'm kind of like shocked. <laughs> I love pink, don't get me wrong, but whoa. Okay, I took a breather. I think I was just in shock. We are slowly getting all the junk back into its home. And it's gonna look so much better once the cabinet doors are actually on, but I won't see those until we are back from our trip. So it's gonna be a little bit of a surprise. This is a uh, trust the process kind of moment. autumn spice matcha latte so we're in new york because we launched a collab menu item with matcha pool and it's this drink look how gorgeous she is i'm gonna put all the ingredients on screen basically a psl but matcha and it's so good all the ingredients are really great we're doing a pop-up friday so it's a quick quick trip <laughs> but we made it we got a little held up with some projects in la um, but we are here. We're a little crusty right now. A little crusty, but this first sip of this tasted just like a pumpkin pie to me, which is my favorite. Um, it's like a PSL, but better. It's not gonna give me a headache. <laughs> it's not too sweet. It's delicious and perfect. I haven't eaten there since I went vegan because I didn't know that they had vegan cheese and also gluten-free options um, And it was Paulina's first time having Italian in New York A must. Delicious. So I was really happy they had options because like now anyone can go you can go together with like non-vegans um, I really love that. Oh, it's like the first thing we've really eaten all day So feeling good and now we're gonna stop at bananas by Morgan Stearns, which is a spot that I went to last time uh, with my family and it's really good. It's also all dairy free Paulina's not vegan, but she'll eat like low dairy, I feel like. So, lactose intolerant girly. <laughs> Indeed. Okay, my arm is so tired. It is like 5.30 in my body and we're gonna go work out. Before we go to work out, we're gonna take these um, immunity shots with a little bit of ginger in them, just because travel, I feel like, is always the best time to get sick. Like, your body's kind of in shock sometimes, and like, your sleep schedule's off, diet and nutrition's a little bit off. So we're gonna take these shots, and then we're gonna go. So it's got blue spirulina, ginger, and lemon. Anything else? Yeah, that matcha shot. Oh! Pineapple <laughs> juice and all this. Ooh, Oh, it was just a lot. That's delicious.
camera died. So what did you miss? We went to have lunch at Spicy Moon and we walked around, we got a matcha, we went to La Cabra and had a pastry and a matcha. Basically all I've consumed today is a lot of sugar and a lot of caffeine. So I wasn't feeling too great. Yeah, spicy food. I did like take a minute and we recovered at home. Now we're gonna do a little bit of tourism. We're gonna head to the Brooklyn Bridge and then go to dinner in Brooklyn. Um, I will do a better job of vlogging now that we've got a fresh battery in the camp. Today we're taking it like a little bit easier because tomorrow is really the big day and I feel like that's where we wanna conserve most of our energy. Um, but anyway, let's head to the bridge. So this is our light for photos. Look at the difference it makes, it's so nice. You see everything, we're a little late for sunset, but we caught it, and we just took like a million photos. <laughs> Here we are, rule of thirds. This is one of my favorite spots. It's vegan friendly enough. These are actually like little tables too. So it's a little chilly. Delicious, very unique flavors. Vegan options are definitely limited, but I feel like with the whole experience and like the mocktails, it's oh, like yeah. you can have a great meal as a whole. Yeah. Best drink I had had in a while. Or salty dog. Salty, salty dog. I think. Yeah, I think you're right. It's delicious with seaweed salt. Oh, that's so cool. What are your impressions of New York so far? I feel like it just feels like a different version of a, like LA. I don't know. <laughs> I am trying to learn my way around and navigate. There's just so much food here and I just want to eat everything. Yeah. The way it's like the event is happening in 12 hours. Ooh. Or just here stretching. Literally from right now. <laughs> Oh, I'm excited, but I'm also nervous. <laughs> it's a Friday in the middle of the day. There are a lot of people work from home. Yeah, this is true. TBD if anyone shows up. <laughs> tomorrow, it cuts to the footage of tomorrow's line. <laughs> and good night. So yeah. one thing about Paulina is that she really fucking loves soup. I feel like I've said this in a few vlogs before. This is the perfect example because we are, you know, real comfy in the home and we picked up snacks and I picked up, you know, crackers and she got herself a little soup then today she got herself another little soup and she opened it and she was like oh that's gonna be good so we currently have all these leftovers in the fridge from every meal we've eaten it's not like um i can't open it too far with the recycle oh yeah we got our juice shots um we had a pizza spicy moon i don't know what the brown box is anymore that's my little my leftover noodles. oh oh noodles from tonight i'm literally gonna eat this like for breakfast i think pasta <laughs> And then in the back, we got this like tofurkey sandwich I made for myself for the plane. Oh, that's what that is. Yeah, that's my tofurkey. <laughs> I was like, did your mom leave that? So, there shots. We got stuff to eat. It's public day today. Not really a fan of the way that I did my makeup today. I feel like if you know what I mean, you know. It's just some days it hits and some days it doesn't. We are trekking downtown solo to start the day because we have a really fun event um, with Gaia Herbs and Giselle Bunchen and Drew Barrymore are gonna be there, which is super fun. It's honestly a little tight to be going to an event before my pop-up. I kinda wanted to keep the morning clear, but it was just one of those events where I was like, how do I say no? Oh my gosh. Not gonna lie though, I am tired. I'm feeling the jet lag today. Paulina is gonna meet me closer to the pop-up, bring a bag for me, and I'm gonna change outfits because this is what I'm wearing for the morning meditation event. Bringing my little cine bun left over from yesterday for just a little something to put something in my body. And we're off. I'll see you inside shortly. I just want to say I love the subway and I love walking. It brings me so much joy. And to maintain. 
meditation into our breath where we can connect to ourselves. So first, we reconnect to our Gaia. I just meditated with Giselle Bunchen, and I am freezing, I'm shivering. I can't stop shaking right now. I don't know what happened. I think it was the combination of the whole rooftop setup and being downtown, kind of closer to the water, but it is freezing. I'm trying to recover because I'm walking over to the pop-up now, but early, maybe grab some breakfast if I have time, something in the area, and then we'll wait for Paulina to meet me, and I gotta change. But the outfit that I chose for today is a skort. So we'll see how it does. Hopefully in the cafe it's a little bit warmer. In a moment like this, I miss LA. I was never built for the cold, <laughs> which is one of the reasons why winters in New York were so hard for me. What an amazing event though. Like way to start the craziest day of the week for me. And leaving with a little, or I should say a big goodie bag too. I'll show you that later tonight. Uh, we have a little time, so I'm gonna grab some bagels for breakfast, but I got a matcha latte the latte that I collaborated with them on. It's so good, hot. This and the sun are helping me big time. I feel like I'm defrosting. actually let me kind of go back there and take some video footage because I had this big ass camera on me. So I guess embarrassing myself sometimes does come in handy with this big camera. Really excited to try it. It's gonna be a great breakfast, pre-pop-up. And of course, it's a pop-up breakfast before the pop-up. All right, we got the everything bagel. They are warm, they're fresh. The only bad thing I have to say about it is that there's no vegan cream cheese. That is a very solid bagel. Please go get it. The line is not bad. It moves very quickly. Um, just excellent. <laughs> excellent. great pop-up we sold out of donuts um, I think in a little less than an hour so I felt a little bad if you missed the donuts I'm so sorry but the good news is something big is coming 16 mil is gonna have a location soon I think so you can get her donuts they're amazing it was just so cold today even Paulina was cold that's how I know it was cold because yeah. it wasn't just me I'm always cold but if someone else is cold I'm like yeah I know it was really cold we're having silent phone time <laughs> I haven't even posted any stories from the event, but it was so fun. I honestly didn't know who would come to New York because I haven't done an event here since COVID, before COVID, but I must have my immunity shot now because I forgot to have it this morning. Today's shot is the 365 by Whole Foods Immune Refresher Shot with pomegranate and elderberry. I think this one was like a little cheaper because it's like their own brand. And it's got pomegranate, elderberry, turmeric, lemon juice, ginger, and black pepper. <laughs> Ew, it tastes like turmeric? No. Oh I no! I can't really remember, but I just remember it was different than yesterday. Yesterday's was really yummy. Yesterday's was delicious. It almost was like, is this healthy? <laughs> oh, black pepper. Oh, ooh. ooh. Why yeah. does it kind of smell like pumpkin soup? I kind of thought it had beet in it. Yeah, it? pomegranate only, I think. Mm. Kind of, ooh. 
I know. <laughs> I don't like laying down, so that's why I didn't do it. <laughs> Put it straight down the throat. Oh, God. Yeah. But it doesn't, like, burn. Like, there's no ginger, right? There's no ginger. I feel like it kind of tastes like a beet soup. It, right? That's exactly what, yeah. But like not in a, like a beet soup would be yummy. But yeah. Not like that. That's for health. Saturday, we're taking our immunity shot of the day. This is Lumen? Mm -hmm. Never heard of this before. But today we have hemp omega 3, dragon fruit, pineapple, and ginger. But there's a whole bunch of other stuff on the back. Like sea moss gel. Okay. We just brushed, so it's not gonna be the most fun. fun. No. Oh, okay. juice. Some shots taste like juice. Some are pretty freaking bad. This was That's delicious. Good. We are gonna head downtown and get a matcha surprise mm -hmm. um, and some food for Paulina and maybe go to. Uh, the Rockefeller Center to see something that I've been excited about. Um, but then I think that'll be it for today because I'm going to a wedding upstate, my friend Shelly's wedding. And these days I feel like the weddings are always phoneless or like, what do they call them? Phone free weddings or, or like, yeah, unplugged weddings. Um, and also she's a photographer and so like, it just feels weird to vlog someone else's wedding. You know what I mean? <laughs> um, but yeah, maybe I'll take some videos like on my phone. I have a little dilemma about what to wear because it's so cold and I only have a dress and no jacket. The only jacket I have is like this sweatshirt now. And the dress is like a sleeveless thing. So that's a problem for later, but we're gonna get some matcha. We're in the East Village right now and we're here to get some matcha at this cute little spot. They also have some onigirazu, which are like onigiri sandwiches, basically. We're early, they're not even open yet. <laughs> First but the matcha looks really good. Look at the menu. Creative lattes. Spam. Mm. Cute latte. Here. So we got some onigirazu, this is what it, what it is. Basically onigiri, but it's like two halves, so it's like a sandwich. Um, and mine has, oh, it's edamame veggie tofu. Ooh, fried tofu, um, lettuce, vegan mayo, and some kind of sauce looking thing. I'm very excited. The matcha is okay. I think this is what it's really about. And Paulina got a spam and egg one. I know I'm always like, shall I show <laughs> That's okay, I feel like there are a lot of non-vegans. Yeah. Comment below if you're watching and let me know if you're vegan or not. Cause I feel like the channel is for everyone. I'm always like, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> it's steaming hot. Like very, very hot. I'm like makeup YouTuber. <laughs> didn't make it to the pop-up you can still get the latte until the end of the year and if you did make it to the pop-up thank you so much for coming for my last lunch I picked up some naminori or I'm about to and then we'll have to get hair done
I've essentially been getting my hair done today. Um, honestly, I haven't gotten my hair colored in so long and Nathan, who does my hair, good friend of mine, um, only does kind of like week long stretches in New York because he now lives in Miami and so I was able to catch him. It's still a little bit wet right now, but it brings back some of the warmth um, and I feel like it's a bit of an adjustment because my hair has almost been like basically a solid color until here. My color's grown out so much, but if you get your hair colored, you know how long it takes. And I feel like my entire day was basically sitting in a chair. However, I am having my last meal in New York tonight. And I thought I had to get something very nostalgic. Peace Foods. I feel like this is a classic OG vegan spot in New York City. And as somebody who's lived a lot on the Upper West Side, it was always a go-to throughout my entire college experience. It was one of the closest and best vegan restaurants in the area and it just felt right and i'm feeling a little nostalgic because normally when i'm in town i don't think to order peace foods um but this is really i mean i love peace foods because it's like flavorful really fun but a little bit more not wholesome but like old school vegan if you know what i mean like all the ingredients they're using are like whole plants um it's maybe a little bit crunchy granola and like definitely not fancy by any means but i like it it's it's homey food and i'm really excited it's also raining today so we got a little takeout. Let me show you what I got. And then I have to pack, clean up the apartment, and then we're heading back to LA first thing in the morning. Here's what we got. First, we have the dumplings, which are really incredible. Um, the filling is just vegetables, but it's so flavorful, and I highly, highly recommend. This has been a favorite since day one, and I've taken my family to Peace Foods, non-vegans, and it's a crop pleaser. Another popular app they have are the chickpea fries, which are almost like, they're almost like polenta fries, or like just like a fried, I don't know they're really good like indian spices that kind of flavor profile then we've got veggies just because i feel like i needed a side of vegetables so i got roasted broccoli and roasted bok choy you can usually get a bowl i used to do it all the time like two veggies and a grain and that would be like a bowl so really just like stuff that you would eat at home which is really nice at the end of a trip when you've been eating a lot more fun food and your stomach is just kind of like give me vegetables and the last thing i ordered oh my god if i can open this box The last thing I ordered is, oh, it's stuck to the top of the box, but. All right, it doesn't look so hot, but <laughs> a vegan pizza. I just, I don't know. I kind of just want to get something for the flight tomorrow in case I'm hungry and I feel like cold vegan pizza is always pretty good. So I got that and I also got like a little banana bread and a cookie. I was, I was hungry. Ordering food delivery when you're hungry, not a good idea, but this is going to be my dinner. I'm so excited about it. Mm. it's crazy how the taste of a food can bring you back to a very specific moment in your life and for me this is like my college experience mm. i'm gonna eat pack and i'll see you in the morning it is time for a hair reveal and a kitchen reveal. Ah! This is my hair. It's a little lighter than I'm used to because it's been so long since I've done my highlights. Probably just need to adjust to it a little bit. But Nathan always does a really great job. If you ever need somebody who does Asian hair really well and you want to avoid getting that like orangey color that Asian hair is very prone to turning into, Nathan is your man. Kitchen is not 100% done yet. I want to change two more things, some little hardware details, but this is how it's looking so far and obviously i need to clean up some stuff um the kitchen was like a mess when i got home but oh my gosh it makes me so excited to start filming in the kitchen like the first video filmed in a pink kitchen is gonna be crazy anyway i'm off to an event i usually don't like to do things the same day i land but it's a monday and a very monday monday indeed so i'm gonna head to the event and i will see you guys in another video soon don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. And if you're watching this video, please give it a thumbs up. See you in another one. Bye.